All right, we are here with the Wealth Exchange Bundle. Now, this is great for long-time players. Uh, there's a lot of older items in this pack, so you're probably going to get it at a discount. If you're a newer player who's just joined, this is actually still a really nice prefab. It is big on the interior. It's got a nice fender design, a little bit of everything, so it's actually pretty good for both new and experienced players. Now... I have put a one up high so that you can see how thick the foundation is of it. I've also left this one unplugged so you can actually see that the pawn shop actually lights up over here and see them side by side. Now, getting in close, originally when I placed this, I was like, does that window have any glass in it? But when I actually get in close, you can actually see... The reflection off of it so yes it does have glass and most people that have played this game know most glass windows are notoriously bad in this game but you can see when you get up close you can actually see like it's almost like someone did window cleaner on it and then just did a bad job of wiping away the window cleaner but the overall aesthetic of it looks good it's quite large i was expecting to be smaller myself when i saw it but its interior is about three by three foundations. It's got a back room that's one by two. The roof is flat, so all sorts of things that you could do up there. Put like a little uh, staircase up to it. The actual design looks good. It's got this old weathered look, but it does still look great. You can see even all the way to the woodwork in here, you can actually see it looks beat up, but it does have a nice design to it. Quickly running around the side. You can see like the walls, everything. It's got old posters. This is the back room I was talking about earlier. But you can see it does have back, you know, like posters and everything like this on the back. And it does kind of set that mood that this is supposed to be somewhere. It doesn't look so out of the abnormal. I could see any of the uh, biomes having this. Now, it does have a door back here area. I snapped a standard door onto it. This is not a door that came with the pack. I did that to check to make sure that it's not only able to be used with the doors from this set. Now, as you can see up here, it is a nice flat space up here. There is some more decoration areas, but it's still pretty usable you could hide generators up here different lights you can sit there and easily hide turrets up here that kind of deal i have used a utility generator which is from a you know it's a different bundle but it's an easy to use one uh you can see i've plugged it in right here it, it just requires power it doesn't even use any power itself so you wouldn't need much of anything up there now the pond sign does light up which is a nice little feature when it's plugged in. Now, these are not my cables that I've run. These are just built in to make it look like there's been a cable run to the pond sign, which is a nice little extra feature that they've done. Now, as you can see the sign, it says, We buy gold in any condition, wasteland wealth exchange loans, all kinds of stuff like this. It does look good. The aesthetic looks good. It does come with its own door that matches this frame. That was why I double checked to make sure that the other one could take others types of doors. You can see that the frame and the door match almost perfectly. At the same time, other than the wording, I think you should be able to use this door anywhere. Uh, overall, it does open. My only complaint... I feel like someone forgot to attach the sound file to the door. That, I, I feel like that's an oversight. We'll probably see that in a patch in a little bit going, oops, we forgot. But I wanted to point that out just in case it didn't get updated. Now, we have here the closed and open signs. You can see it just as a quick click. You can see it's got a little turn to uh, all the little system. It does look nice. It's a nice little feature. I'll show the items in here, and then I'll show the interior remaining. Now we have the Cintomatic. 
See, I click it and it gives me two charisma for about 30 minutes. You have the big boss photo and uh, it says 9 out of 10 doctors enjoy this and recommend it. I would recommend seeing a different doctor. Um, I see they're doing the whole classic style Fallout photos. Uh, these are good decoration ones if you enjoy that sort of deal. It does come with these little old worn off torn up posters. That's not anything I added. Now... This accordion door, which does look very nice. I actually really was looking forward to this because it's nice to be able to put something that blocks people, but at the same time, they can still see inside of it. That way, if you want an area that they are able to see into, but they can't reach, it is always nice. Now, I'm going to come over here to the little robot. Now this is the A&D vendor robot. As you can see, it has a little screen. It's a it's a reskin of the red version, but I, you know I like them both. They're actually very unique. It has a little set, whereas it reboots. She actually looks like she was sleeping. Goes to the happy phase, then kind of goes through the cycles of getting tired and going back to sleep. Until she gets sleepy and tired and a little grumpy and then goes back out. And she'll eventually reset. It's kind of recycles until she goes down like that and does it again. Now, as you can see, the actual design itself does look good. It does have a nice... It doesn't require any plug-in points. It just requires a power node in the area. The overall actual design of it actually does look good. Now, going back to the building itself, you can see here that the the walls and stuff actually do have that old style decay to it. The floors do. Everything kind of fits the theme very well. Overall, like I said, it is a three by three, so you could build an entire shop in here very easily. Now, heading back to the back, through the accordion doors, it also has another area that's one by two. Now these frames here that you see right here, that like the two frames, those are almost exactly one tile wide. So you can kind of get the idea that this is a one by two. You could put an entire like little room back here for your character or you know whatever else you want. So all in all, I mean, I could see this. You could board up the windows, turn it into a Raider fortification. You could build yourself a shop, a trading post. I mean, honestly, throw some Brotherhood of Steel bumper stickers out there and, you know, you got yourself a little Ford operating base. All in all, good, reasonable build. I mean, it's not too huge. It still looks good. Uh, I'm very pleased with it myself. I, you know, because I had some of the items, it was even cheaper. So, all in all, you know, very good starter set or a great returning set or just if you like building and with that i hope you all have a great week and just enjoy the game